and then we're good. It, I didn't refresh and it changed. Oh, good. Okay, so it is saying Outer Wilds now. Very nice. Okay, so let's get get the game launched. My expectations, I will admit, are somewhat high just because so many people have gushed about how amazing this game is. Um, but, you know, I'm going to try and temper them a little bit. Because um, I know, you know, no game can meet all of your expectations. Um, so let me get a boot up. This might be a, qui a slightly quieter stream than the New Vegas one because I'm going to be trying to take in this game. Uh, as much as possible. New Vegas, like, you can be a bit goofy with it because you don't... I don't really play... Um, I've played New Vegas before and I can sort of feel like I can take liberties with it. Um, but with this, I really want to take it in as much as possible so that I don't spoil the experience for myself. I am playing this with keyboard and mouse because I've heard that against the recommendations of the game, this game is actually better with the keyboard and mouse than with the gamepad. So this is Annapurna. Is this Annapurna Interactive developer or just the publisher? Because that would mean that this was the team that did... Um, this was the team that did... Uh, it changed back to New Vegas? What? Edith... What Remains of Edith Finch? No. Is it What Remains of Edith Finch? Refreshing fix. Okay, good. Huh? Oh, what remains of Edith Finch? Yeah, we did. Mobius is a developer. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Alright, chat, is this an okay volume for you for the game, or would you like me to turn it up? Wait, there's a specific part of the game that you can't play without gamepad? Oh, oh if that's the case, I'm going to need the gamepad at some point. Sounds okay, sounds okay, good. Okay, well I guess let's jump straight into it then. I don't know whether this is going to be like a lead narrative experience or like an open world thing or like a series of levels. I, 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 I know nothing. <laughs> this could be Firewatch or it could be No Man's Sky and neither would surprise me. Hmm. Okay. Ooh. Hmm. Wait, hang on a second. Well, that was cool. Oh, <gasps> I'm an alien. There's our pileup. Guess you were lucky then. There's a pilot back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars. Chat, uh, just for the record, please don't tell me anything more about this game. I, I very specifically went out of my way to not know as much as possible. So when I say, so when I say like, I don't know what this thing is, it's good that I'm saying that because the game, like, that's the experience I want to have. I don't want it to be like, I'm not literally asking what is all this, what is everything. Like, I don't want it to be like, oh, I, wow, I'm an alien, I didn't know that. And then chat goes, oh yeah, actually you're playing as the Slurmian race and then you actually find out that they're dying out and you're the last one, and, you know. Um, it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program and suddenly you're here, leaving on your first solo voyage. Oh, it's just a marshmallow roasting simulator. Well, spoilers. Look, straight away spoiled by chat there. It's a marshmallow simulator. Don't even like marshmallows that much. Nah, I like marshmallows. Not... I don't love them, but I like them. I like them more than marshmallows. You gonna make me some s'mores? Thank you. That was only a problem one time, then maybe a few times after that, but hey, no reason to it on the past, right? 
Anyway, you need to get the launch codes from Hornfells at the observatory before we can you can lift off. Just bring these here once you're done. Once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. Okay. So I'm going on a voyage. Just gonna turn this down a tiny bit. Once again, chat, if the game's too loud or too quiet compared to me, please let me know. I don't want anything to get drowned out. Hmm. Interesting. I'm just going to turn down the mouse sensitivity a tiny bit. Uh, there you go. Much better. Okay, does that mean you're going to base thought around? If so, have a good night. Actually, a pretty good volume ratio. If you didn't, if you don't appreciate this game's music, you're a bad person. Yeah, I already like this music a lot. Look at this tiny child. Hey, is this Hans? Slate said you're blasting off from your ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Aren't you going to go into space? Aren't you? You better not change your mind. Uh, I want to practice with a probe before I leave. Oh, you're just saying that. But if you really want to practice with me, I guess I can help you out a little bit. Try and land on one of the geezer pools. Show me what you've got. I think I've got the hang of it. Hang on a second, I can do this. Can I actually send it into space? Um. Cool. Okay, I'm done. I did it. Well, it was just like the time the external fuel tanks exploded on re-entry. You'll be okay flying the big one, right? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I definitely feel like it would be a little bit easier when I'm actually in the thing rather than just with the th like observing the thing. Hey, oh hatchling! I hear you're leaving us to seek adventure among the stars. When you return, let you, me, and Gossen open up a bottle of the good stuff. Hey, <laughs> Okay. Another metaphor ruined in the name of scientific accuracy. I know, but at least it's subjectively better now. Nevertheless, I do hope you enjoy your travels. Good luck! Thank you. Hmm. Art style is very interesting. I, I guess I would kind of expect um, it would have like a... Um, I'm going to turn this game down a tiny bit. Just going to get paranoid. Oh, shit. Not that much. There you go. Um, I would expect it to have more of a sci-fi aesthetic, whereas it's going very ru rustic, which is a nice change of pace. Does this guy have eyes for nostrils? Uh, no, they have noses. They just have four eyes for some reason.
Did you put sugar in this, Brett? Yeah. Okay. How much? How many sugars? One teaspoon. Okay. Oh, oh, hang on a sec. Go back. Uh, okay. Wait, so is the whole planet just a barren waste? Oh wait, do they live in do they live on the inside of the planet? Okay, no, there's something. It just looked pretty barren. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, it looks like a lot of the planet is pretty barren. It looks like it's a pretty small planet of that. You can like see trees and stuff from here. Okay. We've already seen that. Interesting. So it seems like a pretty small planet. And then here's just a bunch of little gadgets and gizmos. I'd be really interested to see what I look like in the mirror. Can I fall down here? So it's launch day, huh? How's gonna miss you? What do you think of these alien designs, bro? Yeah, you think these aliens look cute? I like their little, like, cat mouths. Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about, and the platform these ships launch from is pretty old. Isn't it about time you built a new, less flammable one? That big tree in the village would be the perfect choice. I wouldn't mind helping out the sp space program. Just say the word. Nice try. We all know that you have it out for that tree. What? No, I just think it's in the way and someone ought to chop it down, you know? Specifically me. Okay. Ah, old man can ice. Hey there, space cadet. I hear you're leaving the crater today. If you meet any of the other travelers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? Just saying hi before I leave. Take care of yourself. You too. Whoever you are. Hello, astronaut. It is my favorite troublemaker. We wanted to play hide and seek, but Moraine won't let us borrow their signal scope because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. Hey, hey, can we use your signal scope? Can we? Can we please? We'll even let you be it. Sure. Here are the rules. Glida and me will hide with these radios and we'll use our signal scope to find us. Last time we found wins. Okay. See a child. Get on the fucking ground! Oh. Hmm. Seems like. Is it just me or is there a delay on the jump? Like, okay. Space. Space. Oh, you like charge the jump? Okay, that's interesting. That's why it feels like there's a delay. Hey, this lady's called Galena. Thanks for playing with us. No problem. Well, now I know how to use this. Uh, where are we going? This way. Accumulative tendons. I don't know what that means. But yes. You're leaving the crater? Guess we'll be all be a little little busier a little busier without you around to lend a hand. That big water plant, giant Steve, that's where I'd go. Why's that? One time after the rest of the village had left to sleep and it was just the two of us sitting around the campfire, Gabro told me that they about their first trip to Giant Steve. They landed their ship easily enough in the waves, 
We couldn't see too far down on account of how murky the water was, I guess. Too dark. Gabbro wants to see what lay beneath the surface, so they decided to travel deeper. They traveled down and down, and suddenly Gabbro couldn't go any further. Yeah, Giant's Deep has a current you can't pass through. Sure, okay, but shut up a minute, this is the good part. As though exercising a will of its own, the water was refusing to let Gabbro go any deeper. It held Gabbro back, as if it was trying to protect him from something. I mean, I already said about the current, but that's why I need to keep going with the story. A tentacle of a hideous beast. Was there sap wine involved? Come to think of it, don't you have somewhere you should be exploring? Yep. <clears throat> okay, let's go. Oh. <gasps> Another planet. Looks like them. Wait. Oh, wait, wait. There's a moon. So there's their moon. And then past that is another planet. I, want, I guess I'm just leapfrogging planets. Would that be how I play this game? I go between planets. Hi, astronaut. You know the patch of ghost mat around this fence? Gosan even... Gosan said it used to be bigger when you're, they were hatchling, because ghost matter evaporates. It just takes a, a super long time to go away. I hope there's still ghost matter in the village when I'm growing up. Ghost matter is awesome. Yep, it's really... It's really cool. Good game. Good game. You guys want to go back to Fallout? Cool. Just to be clear, I don't lose anything from having, um... I didn't lose anything from not doing the minigames a second time, right? Because I'm not going to do, I'm not going to interact with anyone or do any of these minigames now. Oh. Wait, so does this game have permadeath? You won't miss anything. Yes, good. Yeah. I assumed as much. But, you know, you never know when you get a situation like, Oh, you didn't interact with this character. That means now they're going to die. Okay. But also... What I've, what I've been curious about ever since I died from the ghost matter is... What happens if you go into the ghost matter a second time? Do you die? Do you still die? Or is there maybe like an Easter egg? So I think I'm gonna. Ooh. Read. Danger! Inside this fence is a pocket of ghost matter, a strange and impossibly cold substance that's invisible to the naked eyes. The good news is you can detect ghost matter with a camera. Moving through the ghost matter is uniquely painful and probably kill you. Don't complain to me if you get hurt yourself falling around. Okay. Hey, I thought I might see you before the big launch. Oh, we lost an eye. Nerves getting the better of you? I'm a little nervous, yeah. Good, everyone should be a bit nervous before going into space. I got cocky during my first flight and nearly put a new crater on the moon. Still, I was as green as you. I have gotten better. Think so, do you? For like proving it to your old fi flight coach? There's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment. Set up down in the zero-g cave needed for repairs. If you're looking for a little last-minute zero-g practice, take it down the lift and into the cave. Or don't, as long as you're confident you can make ship repairs in space. Okay, let's give this a shot. Well, this is already uh, not quite what I expected. 
cute though. Taking the game, don't try and speed run. I won't. Obviously, I just skipped through that whole area because I, uh, ooh, I like this effect. Obviously, I was skipping through some stuff because uh, I died. <laughs> Okay. Hang on a second. So can I just do a big jump? Yeah. So you can you still have like a limit to your jump, but you can jump. Give me the dirt. Some fresh dirt, not much happening down here lately. Let me think. Come to think of it, Tektite saw something crash outside the village crater earlier. That's new and different. How about that? Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so that's where I came in. Okay, now down we go. Oh Jesus, wait, is this like the core? Oh, that's a cool little thing. Okay, one down. Two down. Where's that last one? Inside. Looks like. Ow. Whoa, hang on, hang on. I can get the hang of it. Zavi1738, thank you very much for the follow. There you go. I did the thing. I really would like to get my bearings. But I guess that's not happening anytime soon. I'm good. What's this? Hmm. I guess it's nothing. And out we go. I'm not sure if this game 100% obeys the laws of physics. Well, if it doesn't, then I'll certainly know. So, I think that's most of the basics down. Nicely done. Of course, it will be a little more stressful when you're hurtling through space, but just remember your training and try not to hit anything big. I can see you're reaching to get off this rock, so go get the launch codes from the observatory and get out of here. Best of luck, and try and avoid getting yourself killed. <laughs> Mate. You've got nothing to worry about in that regard. Good weather for your launch, right? Any good sounds? My signal scope is set to the Outer Worlds Ventures frequency, so I'm listening to the Traveler's music. Last night I heard Rybeck's banjo coming from Brittle Hollow. I hope that means they're safe. I can hear different planets too. It depends what time of day or night it is, since different planets are in the sky at different times. Signal scopes are cool. Two and three. Hmm. Can I tune into this? Hmm.
Yeah, I love the set the sounds of this game so far. Oh wait, what's this? So we got. Oh wait. So, so you just point the scope at different planets, and then it will just. Ooh, loving this. This seems like the kind of game you might enjoy, bro. Well, so far it's pretty chill, which I know you like. Huh? Um. Oh. Ah. Neat. Okay, well that's a really novel way of letting the player see more of the world. So basically it's a kind of hollowed out planet. Probably used mostly for mining, if I had to guess. Um, where there isn't much on the surface, and it's just a lot of like big-ass craters. Incidentally, chat, how interested would you be in watching me and Brit play through No Man's Sky? Because at some point we've been thinking of getting Brit her own computer. And then probably we could get No Man's Sky with that and then we can both play No Man's Sky. Because I think we'd definitely enjoy it. That'd be interesting. Oh, WoW. Yeah, also me and Brit have been playing WoW. Uh, or we, we played it... Whoa, what the... Hey. We, we played it last year for a few months, so we're pretty familiar with WoW. Um, so we were thinking of playing WoW Classic on stream at some point, because that's something that we can play just, you know, me on the computer, Brit on the laptop. So that's something we can play together. WoW, decidedly not interesting. Dang, Brit. Sorry, I'm afraid there's some, there's some WoW haters in the chat. Okay. Is one of these me then? Ooh. Hey, 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 it's my favorite astronaut. Launch day at last, huh, buddy? It's the translator's tool's inaugural flight, too, and I'm so excited it's making me nauseous. Just think you'll be able to translate any know my text you want. Just anywhere you, anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? <laughs> oh, geez, do not break it. Uh, ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous. I'm not even the one going into space. How are you feeling? I'm excited. Good. You're, you've only been waiting to, for this day since we were hatchlings. I can't wait to see all your training pay off. Is the lighting okay? What's the dirt? You see any? See the new Nomai statue? New statue? Of, of course. I knew you'd want to see it before you headed off. Hornfeld just finished prepping it for the spray today. Amazing, isn't it? Makes me wish we could see what a real live Nomai looks like. But I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out. Looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. Ah, oh, jeez. You have a ship to launch. Hmm. The remarkably intact statue was carved by the Nomai, an ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. The statue provides us with our most detailed look yet at the Nomai, who appear to have been covered with a layer of fur. Note the decorative jewellery that has been carved as part of the antlers. Though their artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in the solar system, we still have no idea where the species came from or what happened to them. Hmm. Okay. I bought a sub for classic and the leveling is so boring. Dang. We finished Fallout for today. We played it for a couple hours and then I decided to get started on this. Stars like our sun generate light and heat by fusing hydrogen into helium. Is it tomorrow we'll be we'll probably be doing more of this where we do a couple hours of Fallout, a couple hours of this. Um, just to sort of keep things going because like I want to be giving you guys longer streams But I don't know if I have the patience to just play like four hours of a game every single day 
And if and this seems like it's definitely going to be giving me a very different vibe to the one I got from playing Fallout, right? Like New Vegas is like fun fucking around, whereas this seems like a more solemn, meditative experience. As the sun's core contracts, it gets hotter, causing the outer layers to expand. The sun has become a red giant. Where's my red dwarfs? Infuse carbon. It will collapse under its own gravity and explode in a violent event called a supernova. Based on charts observation, this will one day be the fate of our own sun. Okay. This crystal was taken from a Nomai ruin on Brittle Hollow. It seems to create a local gravity distortion and was most likely used to traverse steep surfaces. Try it out. Hmm. Interesting. The Nomai technology... Yeah, I mean, I, I just read quickly. Do you want me to read slower? The Nomai technology brought back from space by our astronauts. Astronauts has been a great boon to Outer Wilds ventures. Allowing us to modify expedition gear in exciting and useful ways. For example, the, li the, the little scout now boasts a warp retrieval capability that allows astronauts to recall their scouts almost instantly. This has dramatically reduced the number of scouts lost to the depths of space. Okay. Aside from the dwelling and structures they built, the Nomai also made art. This is decorated poetry. This decorated poetry was discovered on Bristol Hollow. Some ancient Nomai art depicts... Stri so is this like a... Um, the Nomai were here before we were and then they disappeared? Or is this a... The Nomai were here, we colonised and killed them all, and then this is what's left of them? That's what I'm curious about right now. Which makes us wonder whether the Nomai originated elsewhere in the universe or simply had vibrant imaginations. Were the Nomai born in our solar system? Were they born among other stars and planets? And if they were, how and why did they come from? These are just some of the questions we hope to answer through further Xeno archaeological expeditions. I'm the first one with a translator. Ooh. Good point. This piece of Nomai writing was essential to deciphering their unique language. Although this text is linear, Nomai text often branches from a central point. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. Hmm. We're nearly ready. Felix and I have, the finished, const have finished construction, and she says calibrating the, the device won't take long. Fortunately, the atoll... The Atle Rock's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. Interesting. Wait, what was that? This piece of Nomai writing was essential to deciphering their unique language. Although this text is linear, Nomai text often branches off from a central point. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different... Oh, okay, gotcha, yeah. Hmm. So are they like, are, I guess they're like the arrival aliens. Hmm. What's this? They're like arrival where they were non linear species. The strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to a conscious observation. The level headed among us realise there must be some sort of optical illusion at play, but Gabbro claims the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed. Whatever is actually happening, both sides of the spate agree the effect is extremely creepy. Wait, so if I look away... So... Okay, so it just randomly goes from place to place. Interesting. A fishy. Hello, little fishy. The, this anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to Dark Bramble. It appears to be well suited to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. Just like me. <laughs> Moving on. Well, 
Wow. Ähm. Okay. Wait. Can I go even further out? <gasps> no. <laughs> See, I feel kind of... Don't spoil it for me if I'm wrong on this. But... I'm like immediately spoiled by this game because I, I was like, oh, I don't know what this game could be. Maybe it's just like a, sh a, a short linear narrative experience. Maybe it's this big open world thing. Maybe if it's even like No Man's Sky where you can go across whole galaxies and there's hundreds of different planets. And like I'm seeing this and this is communicating to me that like you only, ha you only have a few different planets you can go to in this game. And I'm immediately just like, oh. I thought there'd be more planets. Like, even though most games, you know, you get one planet to explore. But whatever. What are these? The Ash Twin and Ember Twin. And there's Timber Heath. What's this place here? The Atoll Rock. Okay. Brittle Hollow. Hollow's Lantern. Okay. Uh, Schrodinger's Cthulhu, thank you for the follow. Yankee Ice, thank you for the follow. And Nick, Nicky Nifakin, thank you for the follow. Dark Bramble, ooh, that looks very spooky. And Pequod One, thank you for the follow. That's a spooky looking area, jeez. I want to avoid that as much as possible. Here's a weird one. Not sure what that is. Giant's Deep. That that's because it's the big one. And it has some things on the side of it. The interloper. Whoa, what the... Huh? Uh... Is there an asteroid slowly coming towards us? What the... Well, that's somewhat concerning. There's just an asteroid spinning around us. Okay. Hello, Hornfells. Oh, look at that. I just finished pre-flight observations and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. Astronaut. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with a Nomai Translator tool. Hey, Brett. When you get the chance, could you just reheat me the remaining uh, food that I made? It's like in a little Tupperware thing on the side in the kitchen. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, just like, you know, a couple minutes, then, you know, spin it around, whatever. Just Mix it up. You'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with a Nomai Translator tool. I confess I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. I'm giddy too to actually play the game. It's the most objective art style. Ooh. Neat. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Tim, what's your plan once you're in space? Uh, I want to go somewhere no one's gone before. I like it. You have plenty of options to choose from. No one's ever landed on the interloper before, you know. Perhaps you'll be the first? I must say, should you choose to go for Dark Bramble, be very careful. No one's explored there before either. For what you'll find, excellent reasons. Well then, looks like all that's left is to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for a launch. I'm ready to get off this rock. Okay. So, wait, what was it? E, uh, Y for the, the... Wait, what was the... Chat, what was translate at all? Y for the signal thing. Right, what was the other one? The translator tool. F. F? F was for flashlight. Translate comes up automatically. Oh, neat. Okay. Mr. Together, thank you for the follow. Okay. Well, there you go. Is that the launch codes? Wait, what do you say? Where are the other travelers? Oh, Chert is on the Owl Glass Twins. Rybeck is on Brittle Hollow. And Gabbro is on Giant's Deep. And there's Feldspar, obviously, but of course we don't know where they are or if they're even still alive. Hmm. Tell me more about Feldspar. 
Feldspar was one of the four founding members of Outer Wilds, along with our flight coach Gossen, Slate the Engineer, and me. As ground control and later the museum curator, I didn't work with Feldspar as closely as Slate and Gossen did. I can tell you Feldspar was absolutely fearless though, nothing scared them. Test piloted everything Slate ever built. It's a wonder Feldspar lived to see space, frankly, but they did. Flew all sorts of dangerous stunts and explored everything they could find. Then one day they just didn't come back. We don't know what happened or where Feldspar went, or even whether they're still alive. Do you think he's on the interloper? Oh, it's like a binary thing? Okay. Dash, 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 dot, dot, dash, dot. Got it. Alright, is that everything then? What about this? Now my skeleton. We can tell from their skulls they possess antlers and quite unusually only three eyes. The Nomai body was most likely adapted for living exclusively on land. The differences in the Nomai's anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone structure, showed us that Harthians couldn't have descended from Nomai and ancestors. So there you go. So whoever in chat was like, maybe there are we're descendants of them. I guess that's wrong. It's not clear where the Nomai originated from or why they disappeared. We hope to find more clues to this puzzle as we explore our solar system. Okay. Well, off we go. Okay. Anyway. Ooh. Hey, hey, did you get a look, good look at the Nomai statue? The statue was glowing. Why was it glowing? The statue was doing what? So its eyes opened and then you... S I never said anything about its eyes opening, but okay. So images from your own memories and glowing lights flying around? You mean like hallucination? Don't worry about it. Say, so if you want to do a short trip to just get your space legs under you, you could check out the ruins on the Atoll Rock. I'd love to learn what those are. Good luck and safe flying. Sure. Let's go for the Atoll Rock to get familiar with stuff, and then we can go for the Interloper. I want to. I want to land on that Interloper ship or the the big asteroid thing that no one's ever been on. So let's do the Atoll Rock first, and then we can do that. Hey kid. Are you, go are you going to space and never coming back like Feldspar did? Jesus, that's pretty disturbing. But Hornfield says no one knows what happens to Feldspar. Hornfield says they got lost in space even though the they were the best pilot ever. You're not as good as Feldspar, so you should be really careful not to get lost. Fair enough. <laughs> if you don't believe in me, you're not my family. Oh. Alright, see you later, bud. No, if they were spitting fire, they were saying they would be saying that you're better than Feldspar. They're they're spitting just spit. Well, this is cozy. I feel like, the, to be honest, I would have probably um, put put myself out there and got carpet. To be honest, you ship log. Lunar ruins. I hear there are no my ruins somewhere in the Atoll Rock. No one knows what they are or why they were built. Okay. Cave at the very center of Timberhearth. Um, used by Outer Wilds Ventures to train new astronauts. Yep. Open its eyes. Gotcha. Yep. Okay, so I guess I'll head to uh, the Outer Rock. Interloper. 
What's the story here? Okay. So that's just our thing putting us on our way. Jack, if you ever stuck, use that rumor screen, even before asking chat. Okay. Make sure to wear your space at all times. I'll do what I want. Here's a crystal that I have. Crystals. <laughs> Hopefully if I go into space, I'll get that blasted bandicoot. Uh... Let's go. Unbuckle? Oh, I can't unbuckle and then fly in the air. Alright, I guess I'll go to the outer rock then. Uh oh. Yeah, this place looks pretty nondescript. Oh, wait a second. What is this? Wait, no, stop. Uh, there you go. What's over here? I found a tree. Neat. Hmm. Ah! Uh oh. Oh no. Oh wait, there you go. Okay. Wait, what's going on? Oh, it needs to charge. <laughs> Whoopsie. Okay. I think I get the idea now. Keep an eye on the fuel gauge. Does it refuel once I go back to my ship? There you go. I got the hang of it. Um, hmm. This one's going to be tricky. Huh. Can you control the ship with the mouse? I don't think so. What is up with this? Oh. Mining site 2B. Let's see what's going on here then. Very intriguing. You can give me advice on stuff like controls, chat, and if I specifically say, chat, what is this, you can let me know. But if I just sort if I'm just generally like ask this like, oh wow, wonder where this goes. Don't be like, that goes to the volcano of Moldor where you'll find Gronk. Oh. Dead skeleton. Don't let Milton see that. Uh. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh. in here. Whoa. What is 
this goes. Love that everyone I watched play this had a different route to myself. I mean, I, I tell you what, you can tell, where did you end up going when you first played this? I don't think that counts as spoilers, just to say where you decided to go. Moldor, it's Moldor. You don't know Moldor? What's this? Skellingtons. You can go for a kind I went to Giant's Deep. I tried to check out the thing next to the sun and immediately crashed. <laughs> I'm not gonna go to Dark Bramble first thing. Even I feel like the game has like pretty clearly signposted that that would not be a good plan. Uh, nice I'm still amazed by how much ore the Ash Twin project requires. Isn't this the ore for the remaining towers being built on the on Ash Twin? The completed towers I've seen are quite large. No, the material for, for those towers is all being taken from Ash Twin. The ore we're mining here will be used to craft an immensely thick protective shell that will physically seal off the Ash Twin's core. If they're sealing off all entrances, I hope they've planned a core dingly. Oh. Wait, why would you ever take off the spacesuit? I thought you'd be forbidden your apprentice from making puns, Coleus. How else would he improve? I'm relieved by our clan's decision to use timber, hearths, ore only for constructing the shell. If eventually life on this planet were to evolve to the point of advanced met metallurgy, um, I'm confident we won't have destroyed their ability to create. Interesting. Hmm. Can I put this away? Can I just take that? Okay. Is there any reason for me to just keep this with me? What's up? Huh? Oh yeah, yeah, what, Night in the Woods? You yeah. Wanna, you wanna play at some point? Well, I, I'm asking, like, because of... Okay, so there was, like, the recent Oh, I need thing. a fork. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, did, did you put any soy sauce on this? No. Right. I might um, need a little bit of soy sauce. So there was, like, the big You could grab that when you can. ...about Night in the Woods. Um, I don't want to, like, mention it here because it's kind of, like, upsetting. Mm -hmm. So just, like, you know... People who know the sure context, are you still yeah. okay with us playing Night in the Woods? Right. With that in mind. Um, I'm assuming chat will be fine with it, but... Because, yeah. I mean, it is not the whole studio. It's one person from that studio, and they kind of distanced themselves yeah. from that person. Yeah, but I know that it might give some people some bad feels, so I wanted right, to right. put it out so there. That's, that's what we're wanting to know. If you even know what the situation is with the Night and Woods developers. No reason to keep the scroll. The important info is recorded in your logs. Okay, I'll leave it. I'm cool with it. It's one of those things where one guy involved was the big shit. Yeah, that's what I've heard apparently. Hey, like, creators, it. It seems okay. yeah. Okay. I would agree, Ari Axel. I would agree. Ooh. Ash Twin Projection Stone. So then just imagine like one of the developers ends up being a shit. 
Yeah. And then it's just, damn it, now we can't release our game. That guy was awful, did the music and the coding slash design. I believe the actual writers, animators, and story creators disavowed him and everything, if that helps. Yeah. Yeah, that was the context that I had heard. My gratitude for the latest shipment. Uh, Oni. Oh no. Oh. You. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. This ore should be the last we'll need for the Astrian project. Once we finish the shell that seals off the core, we'll check to ensure that there are no longer any physical entrances. Rami and I will be checking the interior and then the exterior for cracks. Our final safety check. This is exciting news. Can I offer an extra seat of eyes for this final check, specifically mine? If my work here is complete, I'd be delighted to help. Oh, could you get the black pepper too, Brett? Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. I'd be grateful if you would. The more eyes, the better. Okay. Interesting. So they had their own little mining experiment going on here. Is that it? I don't know what this is exactly, but I'm not sure if there's anything we can do about that. Hmm. Oh, wait. Something over here. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's just the way out. Or rather the way I got here. Ah! I think that's it here. Yeah. That's actually a... I'll tell you what, chat. That is the one thing that I'm okay with. Um, if you know, like, for a fact... And please, please don't say it if you don't know for a fact. If you know for a fact that there is nothing else in an area, you can tell me that. That's a, that's a spoiler that I'm willing to accept. Because that's the kind of spoiler where the only thing that's going to spoil is me not wasting my time like looking around for ages the game itself will tell you on the hint screen where's the hint screen thank you very much hang on a sec let me tune into some music while i get my food seasoned where is that you okay I like cracked black pepper. What can I say? Also, the shaker isn't very good. Well, I'm saying I'm not just saying the planet in general. I'm saying like specific areas that I'm in. If the specific area I'm in has nothing left to it. You can just let me know. And it won't be as I won't consider that spoiling me. Okay. Mmm. Good stuff. Okay. Let's move forward. I can't remember if there's anything there besides the projection stone and the scroll. Probably not. Let's just imagine that there wasn't. More skulls and skelly bones. Uh oh. What the. I think that's it. Yep. Seems like that's it. I think I'm getting the hang of the, the uh, jetpack at least. Honestly, I'm also saying check the rumor screen because chat might be wrong or forgetting something. Fair. Okay. Well, that's those things sorted out. Well, I need, but for the record, I do need to go to my ship to check the rumor screen, right?
We figured out the probe is a light source. I guess I have. Shit. Fuck. Well. Ghostman? Uh, how do I take a picture again? Oh. So it's over here. Oh! Yep. Yep, that looks like Ghostman. Ha! Thanks for that. All right, I just want to check over that side. Oh! Can I make it? I could maybe make it from there to there. There we go. Oh! Uh-oh! Uh, okay. Do I still got my rumors? That's my my rumor screen. There we go, the Ash Twin Project. But in my mind, or from this site, to craft a protective shell designed to physically seal off the Ash Twin. Once the shell was finished, the Nomai checked to ensure there were no longer any physical entrances or cracks. The... <coughs> Excuse me. The core of the ashram is physically sealed off by an immensely thick protective shell. Maybe we check out the ash twins then. Hmm. Right, I'll go to the Athel Rock first and then I'll check out the ash twin. Okay. Where's that rock? So there's the Ash Twins. Oh. That's the Dark Bramble. That's the Asteroid Boy. Where the hell is the Owl Rock? There he is. Oh, careful! Careful!
Hmm. Let's do some repairs. the ship fixed up all right it seems like it so what's the story with this outer rock there's a broken thing over here looks pretty it looks pretty spooky right now unidentified signal oh Hey, Eska. Ground Control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see. Actually, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. Was that you, Whistling? Probably. Or actually, definitely. Never travel to those carry instruments, so they don't bother Whistling. You can pick up their music with a signal scope, you know. Best spot for that is the North Pole. Great reception. The North Pole is marked red on your mini-map, but the Outer Rock is a pretty small moon, really. Just go north, you can't miss it. Don't go. Uh, I mean, is there anything else you want to ask? Seems lonely up here. A little. I'm in touch with ground control. Hornsfel Hornfels and Gossard, mostly. And they radio up to chat now and then. And then, and when ground control forgets I'm up here, and they usually do, I launch my little scout at the village. You spy on us? What? No, it's not spying. It's it's a one-way communication that other villagers know about because I never told them. Don't go. Uh, I mean, anything else you want to ask? What is this place? Very funny. Old stars above you are serious, aren't you? That's just depressing. Welcome to the Lunar Outpost, which apparently the space program doesn't bother to teach anyone anymore. When we first started Outer Wilds, travelers used to bring their ship all, sh all their ships here for repairs. Our space flying technology has improved loads since then. But other ships tended to uh, fall apart. Like, more than they do now. Using the outpost cut down on the number of launches and landing taking place in the village, and also the number of fires. Nowadays, though, it's mostly just me up here, raising saplings from Tim Behoof, and keeping an eye on things. Okay. Can I steal from your house? <laughs> Guys, what if I just kill him? Just let me just do a quick save and... <laughs> so there's something I can see from the North Pole? Eska's signal scope log. Day 48. Still not picking up Rybeck's banjo from Brittle Hollow. I'm sure they're fine, but I'll feel better once they hear their music. Hey everyone, listen to Chirp play for a while. I'm related. Someone should tell Porphy and Goss and their flirting is not subtle from an aerial perspective. Day 45. Banjo music coming in loud and clear today. Sounds like Rybeck's doing okay. That oaf, I was worried. Today I thought I heard something strange. I don't know, it's probably nothing. No, it's back again today. Something strange is coming from Timberhearth. Ooh. Ooh, chat. Should we go to Timberhearth and see what's going on? Mm, I think we should. Okay, I know this is crazy, but the sound from Timberhearth sounds exactly like Feldspar's harmonica. But Feldspar disappeared in space ages ago. It can't be then. It's still here. This is creepy. Maybe my signal sp scope is broken? I better talk to Nice.
Where is Timberhearth then? Wait, hang on. What's the map thing? Timberhearth. Oh, I came from Timberhearth, okay. Hmm. I guess we can finish exploring there then, see what's going on. Ah! Uh, I didn't notice the, the whole, like, there not being a planet, a half the planet. Ouch. Oh, hang on. Hang on. There we go. Church research notes. Property of Church. This is an old crater. The neat thing here is that the composition of the samples. Except for the impacts of the composition of the ice on the outskirts of Dark Bramble. I'd posit the Atoll Rock was hit with a piece of the planet that used to be where Dark Bramble now lies. Ooh. Incidentally, a quick reminder that if you enjoy watching me, <laughs> if you enjoy my streams and you have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe for free with Twitch Prime. Or if you just like the stream and want to throw me a few bucks, you can use the cheer thing over there or just donate. Whatever you want to do to support the stream. Ah! To follow up on, maybe there are more fragments of the old planet Dark Bramble destroyed and other astral bodies in the solar system. So Dark Bramble got all messed up. Interesting. And there's like bits of it floating around. Hmm. Yeah, gravity isn't strong over here, is it? Alright, now where'd I put my dang ship? Because that'll be his place. I think the ship is out in this direction. Oh, let's check if there's anything on the south pole before we leave here. It doesn't look like there's much over here. Yeah, seems pretty barren. What time is it, Marcus? I gave myself an escape velocity from the, from the moon without my ship. It was impossible to get back. Oh, no. Ooh, okay. This is interesting. Oh, so I can hear what's happening on another planet? Alright. Ooh. Spooky. This is the sun. I'm imagining the sun doesn't sound very good. doing to the okay let's get back to our ship machine balked Brett mm -hmm. I was playing with a weird machine in it and it balked so why would I put my suit away seems like it would never benefit me to do so 
Okay, so we've got a lot, even more rumours now. Yes, is growing a crop of trees at their camp. They seem to be doing okay, but they've probably been alone on the moon for too long. Woodland Barkle, thank you for the follow, pal. A lookout platform with a spectacular view of the solar system. SC uses their signal scope here to keep tabs on the other travelers. It can't locate what I selected. Hmm, interesting. A missing planet? It's a mystery. Ooh. Very spicy. Oh, hmm. Cauliflower fell on the ground. Messing with the volume. Okay. Harmonica sounds coming from somewhere on Timber Hearth. They claim it sounds just like Feldspar's harmonica, but Feldspar disappeared in space ages ago. Okay. A staircase, you say? I guess I'll hop back out for a second then and check that out. I mean, now that I'm refueled, I can enjoy that. Wait, I didn't see a staircase. Oh, wait, wait, there you go. Thanks for that, chat. So that's one of those ones that I would consider that one okay, because I probably would have just skipped this area. Okay, wow. I've seen this rune in other travellers' pictures, but seen it for myself. It's really old, isn't it? Well, this is the coolest day of my life. Time for some official notes. So this is some kind of Nomai locator. You can point out the different planets, which is incredibly cool, by the way. But from a little while I can understand the writing here, I think it was built to try and find something specific. I'm not sure. I also was able to translate something about the South Pole of Brittle Hollow, so I'll fly there and see if I can learn more. Yep, just gonna get back in the old ship and take off. Totally safe. Mostly safe. No stars above. We've been playing for like an hour, I think. Where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? It may need to be larger than this eye signal locator is. Anona and those of a, um, Neon Nepu Neptunian, thank you for the follow, pal. Mwah. Um, Anona and those of us originally stranded on the Ember Twin built a quantum moon locator there, but the heat of the sun made its construction challenging. I wouldn't recommend building on that planet. The southern glacier on Brittle Hollow has ample available space. I could construct a new building to house this proposed locator. Yes, let's build there. I imagine our young friend Kanoi would enjoy that immensely. It's always held a great interest in the eye, especially for a child born so long after the crash. I'll begin construction on Brittle Hollow South Pole immediately then. Okay, interesting. Hmm. I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator, and it can hear and follow the signals from the sun, giant steep, and brittle hollow. However, something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye signal. The device's indicator rotates wildly and never points to just one direction. It's a curious result. It's possible the eye has stopped calling out its signal. I see. I most likely calibrated the locator incorrectly. Preve and I will make my make adjustments and try again. Hmm. Is that it then? I should probably just put that back. Oh, another little bit of text. Okay. An update. Disappointingly, everything is correctly calibrated after all. It saddens me to posit this, my friends. I believe what I need, we need to build a more sophisticated device if we want to find the exact location of the eye of the universe. Then, we'll, then we will build it. Don't lose hope. Our search for the eye is what brought us our clan, brought our clan to this place. We won't give up so easily. 
Hmm. Okay. So they built another eye signal. So what I got from that, if I'm actually done now, they built another locator on Brittle Hollow's South Pole. Is that correct, chat? They, they, this I, this locator is just not working. So they built a bigger one in the South Pole of Brittle Hollow. That's what I was able to pick up on. Yeah, rumor log should have all that. I'm just saying. I know where it is now. All right. Ryback headed to Brittle Hollow to investigate something Nomai were doing at the South Pole. Uh, incidentally, chat. And a loud spoiler. Are there any areas in the game that I cannot go to because I do not have an ability that I will get later? What's going on in the background? Good chat here, Brit playing. Brit's playing Breath of the Wild. Can you hear hear Zelda? Hear Zelda going ah? Okay. I'm oh, not in real life. Okay. Okay, gotcha. The game background. You have every tool and ability you're going to get. That is really cool. I really like that. No my device created to pinpoint the source of distant failures. No more were disappointed by the failure to detect a signal from something called the Eye of the Universe. But Nomai decided to put a large, more sophisticated eye signal locator on Brittle Hollow South Pole. Okay, I knew that. Alright, I'm going to go back and figure out what's going on with that harmonica then. Because according to our friend, there's some weird harmonica sounds on uh, some whatever her thing is called. Should I fly into the sun? Wait. Oh, interloper. Dad! Wait! Wait! Get over here! Yeah. I don't think I'll... I don't think we're getting out this time. Alright, there's Dark Bramble. Not, not messing with that. And that is Giant Steep, right? And that's the Owl Rock. What's that? Doesn't even have a name. Look at this little guy. He's not even cool enough to have his own name. Let's see what he's up to. Whoa. Uh. Hello? I feel like I'm probably too close to the sun. Ah, oh, Timberhurf, there we go. Shit. 
everything good? Okay. Oh. Well, that was all right, wasn't it? I think I did pretty well. Solid job, Jack. Give yourself a pat on the back. Um, um, Okay. Does green mean a what does green mean? Um What does green mean? So this is a weird one, but I think I kind of have like a fear of like absurdly huge things. Like, things that are ridiculously big. Like, I remember, um... I played Spore, and... We, like, you know how the, you sometimes get the black hole galaxies, where it's like a galaxy that's been destroyed, and it's just a, a massive black hole? And, like, whenever I would go to those black hole galaxies, it would, like, legitimately, my heart rate would go up and it would freak me out. So... Yeah, so that that definitely kind of caught me there. Brett, do you know what just happened there? What? I went back to my home planet and like I smacked up my ship or whatever, so I got out of the ship to do repairs, and then the sun went supernova and and ate my planet and me <laughs> with it, and then everything reset. Yeah, this is kind of a horror game now. Jesus. Like, I think if you were to check my pulse right now, it probably went up. Yeah, in Spore. If you if you ever played Spore, uh, once you get to the space stage, there'll be, like, these galaxies that will just be these giant black holes. And that, like, scared the shit out of me. Am I caught on something? Wait, what? What am I caught on? Oh, I'm stuck on some trees. Uh, what the? Uh, what the? I, uh. Uh. I, I'm literally stuck on trees. What? Well, meat. I just.
Don't look. Don't look at me, kids. Don't look at what I've become. Please. Look away. Please, children. Oh, okay. Remember me for who I was. Listen, I'll die the old-fashioned way. <gasps> okay. Hey, at least I get to reset the timer now before the sun explodes again. I'm assuming that's my time limit to get everything done. Oh, that's why you kept... Okay, now I get why people were saying that they kept forgetting to put their suits on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What's this all about? Not that I really need the suit. Well, I guess I probably need it to traverse things down here. Even if I don't necessarily need the oxygen. Oh, shit. Is that... Is that my friend? Fellback, or whatever his name is. Oh, tech tight. Hey, oh, hatchling. Thought you were taking that tin can yours into space today. What are you doing here? Hang on, sir. When I get intrigued, I get hungry. Me, I saw something crash over the horizon and didn't like what was seen from in the pictures my little scout was sending back, so I thought I'd come over here myself and take a look. Is that a dark bramble seed? You think so? Something like I've seen on timber have before, so you're probably onto something there. Whatever it is, it's put its hoots, roots, hoots down. It's roots down in a hurry. I don't like the look of this thing, hatchling. And that's a fact. I think I'll send Marl and Hull loose on it. Best to get rid of this mess sooner rather than later. No one can remove an unwanted plaza faster than a tree keeper can. I'll have to get a look at what's inside the seed first, though. Don't want to anybody hacking up a potentially dangerous plant without a better idea of what's lurking in there. Tough can help me haul the old scout launcher over here. Obviously the opening is too small for someone to fit inside, and anyway, I'm gonna, not going to blindly stick my hands into anything as unpleasant as that seed does. That's a good way to lose an arm or two. Let's go in here. In we go. Oh! Okay. Huh? Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, it's teleporting. Did it teleport me into the Dark Bramble? So if I just... Yeah, it's like a wormhole into the Dark Bramble, I think. That's what it seems like. Plus, this seed did a lot of damage when it crashed. I like this crate. I need something from you, Hashin. I threw a little scout into the seed. You did, did you? And you're telling me it's bigger on the inside than on the outside? Wait a second. Hmm. It'd be a tool to chop off, but no mistake. Can we even remove a seed that doesn't have the decency to stay the same size all the way through? Maybe I get better grab an extra axle for you, just in case. Alright, hang on. No, wait, shit. Hang on. I mean, I could be wrong, but it looks like it's taking me down to Dark Bramble.
Wait, with what? Whoa. Hmm. So there's the seed. Butter seed. Hmm. I wonder if I could potentially like shoot straight. Let's try that. Is it possible to get it to just hit straight on the seed there? Make a good teleportal thing. Okay. Well, that's weird. Uh, guess I'll leave you to it. Well, I guess, so if that was where the harmonica was... Oh, shit. Uh, warm, warm, soft, warm, warm, soft, warm. Thank you for the follow. Well, I guess we know what happened to Fell's guard, or whatever his name is. Comes out basically the same angle, yeah. I don't think it would make a difference, if even, even if I was able to hit it. Okay. Let us report back to the ship. Alright, so. A seed from Dark Bramble crashed here and has already taken root. Tech Type wants to use a scout launcher to get a look at what's inside. My cycloscope picks up harmonica music when I aim it at the seed. I launch my little scout into the seed. Somehow the seed is much bigger on the inside. When I launch my scout into the seed that crashed on Timber Hearth, it ends up somewhere in Dark Bramble. Yep, that's what I figured. Oh, well, I'm not going to Dark Bramble yet. I feel like I lack experience. Sorry, what did you guys say um, in terms of the green thing? Like, if the green... Like, if the thing was green instead of grey, does that actually mean anything? Alright, well, I guess... Uh, we'll head to... Hang on a second. Um, what's up? What's the rumor mill? So, this would take us to Dark Bramble then, if we wanted to follow that thing. Ah, oh, Brittle Hollow South Pole. Uh, there's also the Ash Twin Project. So if we can find out more about the color-coded plot lines, more important and related to things of the same color. Okay, gotcha. Um, so I think let's go to Brittle Hollow and see what's going on with this eye signal locator thing. We can figure out the Ash Twin project, whatever. I feel like I lack, I lack crucial knowledge, crucial information. I lack crucial information on that one. So we're gonna go to Brutal Hollow. And apparently Rybeck's there too, so we can go say hi. Okay. Ember Twin, that's Ash Twin. It's also slightly closer to the uh, ever growing sun, so. That's the Atom Rock. That's Giant's Deep. Uh oh. Did, uh. Did Brittle Rock already get. eaten? Wait. Am I missing something or is Brittle Rock fucked? Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a second, wait a second. Wait a second. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. What was that? What's this big old geezer doing? I want to take a look at this.
Oh, wait a second. Oh, no, I've already been here. Never mind. Back on the old trail. Alright, Brittle Rock, where you at? Rav again. Thank you for the follow. Alright, there's the Outer Rock. There's Dark Bramble. There's whatever that thing is. Aim for Matt. Apparently not. Oh wait. Hollow's lantern. Brittle hollow, there we go. I'm in the pilot seat. What? Another successful landing. Um. Uh oh. Yeah, it's probably fine. Um. Oh. Um. Hello. Is it throwing shit at me? I broke the planet. That sucks. Fine, I'll enter inside you. Come on then. Let's go. Oh. Huh. Uh. I just. It's me. What's a white hole? Wait, 
Wait, hang on a sec. This is relevant. It's clear as crystal. Thank you for the follow, pal. What's this? This seems nice. Oh. Uh. It's just like shunting me off the planet. At random. Hey! I would like to go check that out, but I should probably go to my ship first. Alright, well, Brittle Hollow is a silly place, and we shan't be going there again. Does it slowly come back together at all, or is it just messed up forever? Wait a second. That's not my ship. Um. Uh. Had. Oh, I have to put away the thing and then I can match for C. Uh oh. Come on, come on! Fuck! Well. Okay, all good, all good, all according to plan. According to plan. Actually, I want to unbuckle. I want to go on the satellite thing. What the fuck is this? Uh, I should... Wait, let me fix that brake light. I don't want to get a ticket. Come on. Oh! Gotta fix those headlights, come on. Listen, you go to one of these small towns and they just like looking for any excuse. There we go. Alright, now let's see what this satellite's all, all up to. How do I get inside you? There! Big hole. That's what we want. Go. Hmm. Intriguing. Welcome to the White Hole Station. If you fell through the black hole by accident, don't worry, you aren't the first. This warp tower can return you to Brittle Hollow. Every warp tower is tuned to a specific... Oh, sorry. Astral body. To use the tower, stand on the warp platform on the floor and wait until the tower aligns with its corresponding astral body, in this case, Brittle Hollow. If you look up while the station is rotating, you can see the alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. <sighs> Neat. Neat. Uh. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. Mm, what does this do? Oh, just shoots me up. What does this do? Shoots me down. There's Dark Bramble. You're just gonna keep taking rotating me that way? Or I'm eventually gonna be taken somewhere.
Wait for it. Okay. I like the weird trees. Go back up, you have to be standing in the correct spot. You guys told me not to not to wait there. I'm sorry if I if my if I made the awful mistake of Oh Jesus, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh god, no. Uh I'm just going to Hang on, where's the ship? Where's the ship? Where's the ship? Where's the ship? Ship Ship's busted again? Why is the ship busted again? I just want to get out of here. Right. I need to fix this thing and then I can go. Please. Come on. Come on. We can get out of here. Let's just do that. And then in here, and then let's get the fuck away from that sun. What? Hull damaged? Oh shit. I don't think we're going to get out of this sh ship's thing in time. Uh, tell you what, let's just let's just go that way. Don't look! Don't look! Don't look! Don't look! Don't look! Just don't look, and you'll be okay. I don't know Marley Dala, but I certainly do. Oh god. I mean, it's got me hooked. I'll give it that. But I don't know if it's, a, it's, if it's the kind of hook where it's like... My, flight, my fight and flight response keeps going haywire, or... If I'm genuinely enjoying it. Um, this game makes me feel, um, like 90% of the time curious, maybe like 5% of the time a little bit frustrated because I feel like the controls are a little bit awkward, and then about 5% of the time, um, completely fucking terrified, utterly terrified, uh, yeah, that's like probably how the percentages work. Okay, so I guess we'll try a Brutal Hollow again, but we'll try and be more careful. I 
I don't know what that is. Get off of this planet's orbit, goddammit. Wait. Wait a second. What's down there? Hmm. Guess it's nothing. So there's those. Where is Brutal Hollow now? I can spot it. There's Dark Bramble, which I can just feel calling to me. Um, but I'm not going to it, because I know better. It's yellow. That's good. Nice, friendly yellow. Where the fuck is Dark Bramble? Oh, Brutal Hollow there, sorry. Mark up my map before I take off. That seems good. Well. I guess that isn't happening. So, I think we might have a problem here. Yep, definitely a problem here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! Uh... Hey. What's this all about? Beneath your feet lies the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are preparing to make your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, descend the steps to the entrance below. The knowledge held within will help you on your journey. <laughs> well, that's exactly what I'm doing. Uh, okay. The trees are moving. The trees in this grove wander about freely. The entire planet roots and all. This is not normal, even for this alien planet. I've never seen them move. Is that even possible? If anyone else witnesses this disturbing behavior, I implore you, record your observations here. Either those trees are aberrant... Or well, my brain must be. Plume is right. The trees do move. I confess I, I confess I didn't notice until I read his notes. So they're like alive in some way. Alarmingly, it isn't only the trees. There is other matter in this area, such as the unusual shard of rock, moving in the same eerie way. What is that? This rock is unusual for another reason, too. It possesses color and texture I've never seen elsewhere on this planet. Hypothesis, the rock shard's presence is significant. We should study it. Could it be that it's causing other nearby objects to also move about this area? Interesting. Unidentified signal nearby. I think I may have knocked it into the orbit of this thing. Whoa. Hello. Do you like to be my friend? Plume, Felix, and I have determined this atypical shard of rock is the reason objects in this grove are behaving in a quantum manner. The only other objects we've observed displaying this quantum behavior is the wandering moon. I imagine the moon's behavior in this grove are related. In her note from earlier, Felix mentions this strange type of rock isn't found elsewhere in Brittle Hollow. What if it isn't originally from this planet? This quantum shard is from a wandering quantum moon. Perhaps it is even a small piece of the moon itself. 
A unique signal was coming from the shard. Curiously, our friend the Wandering Moon sounds the same. Hmm. So it's this thing? Hmm. So this is like some kind of weird moon shard. Missed one? I'll get it. I'll get it. Don't you worry. I've also heard of the same signal this shard produces calling out from the giant steep timber hearth and the hourglass twins. Suppose there are other shards like this one. Hmm. Suppose there are indeed. Giants. Alright, chat, remember this for me. Giant steep timber hearth. Hearth, whatever, and the hourglass twins. So there's three more shards. I did not see one in Timber Hearth, unless it's referring to the weird plant thing. But we can keep investigating. Alright, now can I get down here? Uh, rotate the cameras. Wait, hang on. E. Oh, one, two, three. Like a weird door over there. Right, now how do I get down there? That's the real question. It's like a little, little crag I can slip in. Ah, neat. Right, thanks for that tip. Um, I mean, oh, hey, there's the stairs. Neat. I know that the surface of this planet is about to die, but, you know, I think it'll be okay. Mm, what if I put this here? If I put it there. I put it there. Cool. The Southern Observatory. And then the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Ooh. I'd like to go to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge, please. Thank you. It got broke. Who would do such a thing? Untra the crossroads. Hello. Let's go here. Hang on a second. Maybe I'll switch to the gamepad tomorrow. Uh, I just don't have the gamepad on me right now. Oh, signal. <gasps> right back. Oh, you launched. That's great. Great job, you. Wow, I guess that means I've been out here a while, huh? Well, uh, this is Brutal Hollow, but you probably knew that. Lots of history here. It's great. What are you doing here? I'm here to see the Hanging City. It's always been my dream to see it with my own four eyes, ever since I was a hatchling. An alien race lived in the solar system long before our species even existing, even existed. How could I not want to see what the civilization was like? Only, you've probably heard the others say it, right? I'm afraid of space. Seriously, I'm more surprised than anybody that I'm out here. Do you want to know how I even got this far? Tripped over a galaxy crystal, gravity crystal. It's dumb luck I landed somewhere my little scout says is halfway stable instead of being sucked into what's below. I've been gauging the stability of the ground around me using my little scout, and this seems to be the place of the best surface integrity, so I'm just going to stay here until I'm ready to move on. But that's about me about my problems. You didn't come all this way to listen to me, Blaver, did you? Thank you! 
First person who's like taken any consideration to my feelings. I learned something. What is it? Never mind. Uh, what should I explore? Not the black hole, actually. That's very no. Which is unfortunately, but you know, unfortunate because the most exciting stuff is all below the crust, including the Hanging City. That's just to the north. You can kind of see it from here. There's also a big dome in the south pole called the Southern Observatory. You can't get inside from the surface. Trust me, I tried. But it's like the rest of the Nomai structures here. There's probably a path to it beneath the crust somewhere. Good luck with exploring. Uh, if you learn anything about the Nomai, I'd love to hear it if it's not too much trouble. See ya. Okay. Oh, at least we've met Ryback now. That's cool. And doze off. Doesn't look like it's a thing. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, there's a black hole. Probably shouldn't mess with that. Wait a second. somewhere. Uh-oh. Well, this seems bad. Ryback, I don't know how to tell you this. Um, I kind of destroyed this planet. Sorry. It's kind of totally fucked. Oh. Hello. CC Quincess and Daytime Chaos, thank you for the follows. What's this? The Hanging City. My, my. Uh, let's see what this is all about first. Hmm, well that was deeply unpleasant. I made it this far though. Guess that's the part to focus on and not how I'll eventually have to get back up that path. But wow, this place sure is something. Looks like the Hanging City is north from here. At least there's a gravity cannon. I definitely want to see that. Another thing, I'm detecting oxygen from somewhere below, which is good since I uh, used up a lot of my supplies screaming during the trip down from the surface. As soon as I stop dry heaving, I'll head, I'm will i going to head further down so I can refill my tank. Okay. I like Rybeck. Rybeck's my favourite so far. I like how there's... It, it's, it means a lot to me that they're scared of... Um, they're scared of space, and yet they're still willing to be a space explorer. Oh, wait a second. Hang on. Oh, can I just take a picture of myself here? Hey, it's me. That's me. That's cool. Uh, so that's the place in Timber Hollow, or Timber... Half. Timber half, timber half. Not seen that. Don't think I've seen that. But I know that that's the place in timber half. Oh, because I'm pretty sure it is. Let's read some more messages. Untranslated. Oh, gravity cannon. East. Ooh. That sounds spooky. I'm gonna go check out the Hanging City. I think. I mean, I know the plat I know the universe is about to die, so I figure we're best off checking that out sooner rather than later. Seems like one of those things you don't want to miss. I mean, I'm literally—it's impossible for me to get off of this planet. So, oh shit! Yeah. But there we go. Breath of the Wild was a good exploration game. 
I mean, it has wild in the title. That's probably good. Hope there's a place for me to refill my O2. Here I am. Rock me like a hurricane. Ooh. Hello. Black Hole Forge District. Ice Shrine District. Meltwater District. School District. Wow, okay. Uh, so I want to check out the Ice Shrine. So we want to look for something that looks like... Uh, like a man on a unicycle uh, holding a rock. Right? Man on a unicycle holding a rock. Gotcha. Keep it in mind, folks. Aha! Man on a unicycle. Hmm. Uh, thank you for the follow, Monochromatic Exorcist. Ah, good trees. Yeah, I think you'll enjoy this, bro. <coughs> it's very exploration-y. I think uh, you will definitely enjoy, like... The one problem is I doubt you'd be able to run it on your laptop because it's like a fairly new thing. But I think if you wanted to like take over on the PC at some point and play through this yourself, I'd be more than happy to watch because I'd be really interested in how you would play the game differently to me. Oh! Uh, I don't like how quickly that sun is heading towards us. It's making me quite uncomfortable. Uh, I don't like this. The Ash Twin project requires a powerful, highly advanced warp core. How should we obtain it? Is that all it does? Oh, ha. We could craft a new advanced warp core inspired by the vessel's warp core. The great challenge here, I think, is we don't have the, the design for such a powerful core or any of the original crafters of the vessel's core. This is the safest path for our clan. Is the safest path the best one? Our goal is worth the risk. Oh. Is it though? We've tried for so long to find something that I and others now believe might be impossible to find. If the search for the eye is a futile one, we should choose the option with the least potential for harm. I'd very much like to craft such a powerful core. More relevantly, I believe the Black Hole Forge crew and I could recreate the basic design. Abandoning the vessel's warp core and its, co and its casing means losing valuable knowledge. This is true, however, it's knowledge we have little hope of recovering. It'd be best to relearn, I think. Poke was apprenticed to Anona, who created the original design, and our Black Hole Forge is adept at crafting simpler cores. Hmm. I believe I can be of use here. The vessel's warp core was created before my time, but Anona explained, explained many of his designs to me. Whoa! Okay. Now we just need to find that last one. Aha, there we go. Each of those is a screen for displaying whatever scroll you've been in. Gotcha. Alright, last one. So they tried to replicate the power of a black hole, is that right? As a, to use as a warp core, to help them warp places. We could retrieve the warp core from the vessel. This would require a return to Dark Bramble. Plume, my father, said many good no my perish there. My mentor and his old mentor once discovered and studied an anglerfish. Oh no. On Ember Twin. Using that lodge, we could. I can hear the fucking tune. I can hear it. I can just faintly hear the beginning of that fucking tune. Oh no. We could avoid the anglerfish entirely. Okay. 
So there is a vessel on Dark Bramble. Chat, you can tell me if I'm right, at least. Don't, you don't necessarily have to tell me if I'm wrong, but... So there's a vessel on Dark Bramble, and it's being guarded by an anglerfish. What Melloray and I learned from that fossil would theoretically help us evade the anglerfish, but our hypothesis was never tasted on, tested on a live specimen. I remember the anglerfish fossil. We used to play in Fossil Fish Cave when we were children, so that's in Dark Bramble. Correct. Good. You're getting the gist, okay. The vessel's warp core is broken. At best, recall those present when the vessel crashed said it sustained lethal injuries. There's no guaranteed reward for this risk. Perhaps we could still repair it. My grandmother told me there was little time to assess the nature or extent of the damage. Even if it no longer functions, the old core could serve as a valuable blueprint provided we're able to transport it back here. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. So, new mission then. Dark Bramble, there's an anglerfish guarding Dark Bramble. So I'm assuming that's why we shouldn't be going straight there, because we need to figure out how we're going to deal with it. Um, I'm stuck in... I'm stuck in the corner of this room. Uh, I'm stuck in the corner of this room. Uh, and I'm stuck in the corner... There you go. So I, so I need to figure out how to get rid of... Make it so I don't have to worry about the anglerfish. Why is it not letting me just climb up these stairs? What the... Video game. Alright. Up the stairs. The what the deuce? Very rude level of geometry. Revan Crowford. I feel strange trying to recreate a known as warp core without him. At times, it still feels strange to no longer be his very young apprentice, and for the dark hole, bl uh, black hole forge to be in my care and not his. This will always feel strange, even though my time with him is sh was short. I miss my old mentor and deeply. To have the chance to try is thrilling, but I don't want to disappoint everyone. I think I can do this, probably, but what if excitement has clouded my assessment of my own abilities? Was I wrong in volunteering to build it? I was born in the star system, and I never saw a known as warp core with my own free eyes. I only know what he taught me. What if I've bitten off a larger portion than I can consume? Still, I, all I can give is my best, and as an owner would say, should my best prove insufficient, then we'll find another way to achieve what's needed. I have Clarion Root in the forge, and I have my clan. I'm not alone. Ah. There you go. Thank you, Ariaxel. So yeah, so I know that I need to get to Dark Bramble to get the vessel, which will be useful to me for, in some way. Um, but then, beyond that... No, I want to go up. But then beyond that, I need to figure out how to kill the anglerfish or otherwise get rid of it. Maybe I could send something at it, fire a rocket at it or whatever. Shoot some. Sh maybe I could shoot. If I shoot the brittle, brittle, uh, brittle hollows core at Dark Bramble, maybe it will get the anglerfish to go like as bait. Interesting. Yep. Well, I guess this is our time. Our time is done. Oh, well, I thought this has been a pretty successful run at least. Looks like this is some kind of warp gate. Ah, the hanging city. Okay. To our friends on Brittle Hollow, I just walked here from Black White Hole Station on the other side of Brittle Hollow's Black Hole. Our design worked. We've successfully recreated warp travel. I don't know how close it is to a known as original design, but as long as what we've built works, I'm delighted. I know we could do it. And so far, I hope you're reading this. Wait, this can't be correct. Clary, have you seen these readings? If they were accurate, they would violate causality. There must be an equipment error so somewhere. I'm returning to the White Hole Station. If you and Root meet me there, we can run a full diagnostic and successfully locate the problem. Don't tell Kasova. 
Kassava. This is wonderful news. I can't wait to see the warp tower. Though it's been a long time since I've jumped through a black hole. Okay. So. And there's this. That's guarding this. And I guess this is the end of our universe. There you go. Well, I'll be back. I'll be back. Hmm. <sighs> Good night. Hmm. Night, Marcus. Tell you what, let me prove my hypothesis first. So, the anglerfish is a thing. It lives on Dark Bramble, and it'll probably try and kill me if I go to Dark Bramble. So, let's, pr let's prove the hypothesis that there is, in fact, an anglerfish on Dark Bramble that's going to kill me if I go there. And if it is there, then that's cool. That means we can start trying to figure out ways to kill it so that we can get the vessel from, uh, from Dark Bramble. And, you know, since we're, this is the, this, the very beginning of this playthrough, it's no skin off our bones, right? Hang on a second. If I go to the map screen, I... I've been told by... Oh, hang on. Okay, so... Northern Glacier. The North Pole of Brittle Hollow is covered in snow and ice. There is a uniquely shaped Nomai ruin on the surface. The Mo Nomai were able to warp here from the White Hole Station. This is where they first recreated warp technology. There's more to explore here. Yeah, I kind of figured. Every Nomai warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. To use the tower stand on the warp platform, wait until the tower aligns with its corresponding astral body. The alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. Okay, well that's neat. I don't know exactly how that works now. The black hole forge is suspended below the hanging city. I found a switch in the meltwater district that raises and lowers the forge. The black hole forge district is the highest district in the ash in the hanging city. I know my name, Poke, plan to create a new advanced warp core in the black hole forge. There's the mines. Yeah, whatever. Then I learned how to evade anglerfish by studying an anglerfish fossil they found in Ember Twin. I need to figure out how to do that if I want to figure out what's on Dark Bramble. It broke when the ship crashed in Dark Bramble. Gotcha. Uh, what's, what's left here? So there's more stuff for me to do on White Hole Station. I can deal with that maybe tomorrow. Uh, but for now, I just want to test the anglerfish theory and then I'll probably call it a night because we have been streaming for like nearly six hours now. The Nomai detected a quantum signal coming from somewhere on the Hourglass Twins. The Nomai detected a quantum signal coming from somewhere on Timber Hearth. Someone Giants Deep and uh, located on Brittle Hollow's equator. Held useful knowledge for no mind barking on their first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. Gotcha. So we've obviously seen that one. We know about the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. We don't know about the one on Giants Deep, um, whatever, Hearth, and uh, the Twins. Or specifically, just someone in the Twins. Okay. Anything else I need to know? Oh. Uh, check the room. No. Anything else that I learned? Aha. The Nomai decided to build a larger, more sophisticated Isaac locator on Brittle Hollow's South Pole. Rybeck says you can't go into the observatory from the surface. There's probably a path to it beneath the crust somewhere. Okay. That's a neat tip. Gotcha. Anything else here? I know my city beneath is, uh, the city is divided vertically into four districts. Found a switch that raises and lowers the black hole forge. Okay, gotcha. So obviously we're going to go back to Brutal Hollow at some point, but for now uh, we're just going to uh, check our our dark bramble experiment off off the list. Hang on a second. I needed to. 
Uh, dark Bramble. Wait, how do I set that as my destination? I've been told that this is how we set. I set my destination. Aha! Okay, gotcha. Um, and also with the interloper we'll want to deal with at some point. That's not the map. Here you go. This is the map. Uh, how do I set Dark Bramble as my destination? That was something that people were saying I could do. CZ42, thank you for the follow, pal. Hmm. Okay. You can only get it when you're in cockpit mode. Okay, fair enough. Okay, onward we go. There he is. What the? F oh, that's the twins. Okay. Something on the surface of the sun there. Alright, so let's figure out what the situation is with these anglerfish. Then we'll call it a night. Uh, thanks, incidentally, for all of you that have joined me for this, especially those of you that have been here the entire stream, but even just those that have stuck around for the Outer Wilds. I'm really enjoying this. Um, definitely finding the controls a little bit finicky, but maybe I'll give the gamepad a try next time and we'll see how we are. So there's somewhere around here there's a crash ship. Okay. So the anglerfish fossil I know is somewhere down here because I checked in the seed. I remember when we looked into the seed. We got uh this thing happened. Wait a second. Those pretty lights don't mean good things, do they? Yep. Well, fuck. Okay. Okay, keep that in mind for next time then. Oh, well, folks, I think that is definitely time for a break. Um, reset loop and quit to main menu. Is that okay? Apollon, thank you for the follow, pal. Night, Marcus. I I'm guessing that's okay. Yeah, okay. Oh, well, one final time. Thank you all so much for joining me. We're going to be back on this tomorrow. Uh, we're going to be doing the same thing as last, as, this, as um, today. A couple hours of Fallout, a couple hours of this. Or, you know, we ended up doing like three hours of Fallout and three hours of this. But we'll see how things pan out uh, next time. Other than that, uh, I will probably up I'll, I'll upload the archives as I continue playing through this game. Uh, and then we'll see how see where we get on with it. And then after that, we can put in the vote for what we want to play next. And that'll be fun too. Now, who is currently streaming? Um, ba -ba -ba. 
Oh, Beaks and Jam. Maybe I can throw, throw Beagle Rush a, a host. That might be fun. And there's Limmy, but Lim I don't think Limmy would appreciate it. Sure. Beagle Rush is playing some D&D, &D, and I like Beagle Rush a lot, so I'm just going to raid him. A mod list for Fallout into Vegas. I, I'll write one out at some point, Ariax. So remind me, and I'll, I'll, I'll write one out for you. Um, but yeah. Uh, Beaks and Jam is a really cool uh, XCOM streamer, or Beagle Rush specifically, but they're doing the stream of D&D right now. Go check it out. Um, other than that, have a great night, folks. I'll catch you later. Stay safe. Love you all, etc.